Dear friends, this Lent, the Irish province of the Institute of Christ the King's Sovereign Priest presents Lenten Thoughts, drawn from the Gospel for each day of Lent by Bishop Francis Amist. First Sunday of Lent, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Our dear Lord has just come forth from the waters of Jordan, where he had been baptized by St. John the Baptist. The heavens had been opened to him. He had seen the Spirit of God descending as a dove and coming upon him, and had heard a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And at once he is led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Follow him with your heart in this momentous journey. It was not the evil spirit that led Jesus into the desert, but the Spirit of God, the Spirit of holiness and truth. Not a moment was lost after his baptism, but he must begin at once his career as an example to men. He is driven on by the burning ardor and kindled in his sacred heart, and hastens to the awful humiliation of a personal interview with the devil. Consider him alone upon the side of that distant and barren mountain to which he fled, and in his deep solitude, fasting for forty days and forty nights, learned of his sublime resignation to his Father's will. Hear his sighs and prayers for the souls whom he had come to save, praying, watching, and fasting for forty days and nights. He is alone in sublime solitude. But suddenly he is no more alone. There stands another before him. Evil is confronted with holiness himself. All hatred with the ineffable love of God made man. The hideous monstrosity of sin with the calm beauty of heavenly virtue. O oh, daring crime of Satan, O oh, wondrous humiliation of Jesus, he does not fly and escape the torture of that odious presence. He stays and meets the tempter face to face. Contemplate the calm, majestic dignity with which he answers Satan, striking and scaling him with the simple word of God, until the conquered tempter leaves him. See how from heaven come streaming down bright lines of angels. See how they cluster about him, how they adore and minister to him as their Creator and Lord. Join with those angelic bands in sentiments of joy, love, and adoration. Oh, how I love thee, my Jesus, for the humiliation of this temptation undergone for my sake. See how from heaven come streaming down bright lines of angels. See how they cluster about him, how they adore and minister to him as their Creator and Lord. Join with those angelic bands in sentiments of joy, love, and adoration. Oh, how I love thee, my Jesus, for the humiliation of this temptation undergone for my sake. How I admire thee! Yet how often do I forget the example thou hast shown me? Yesterday, in the presence of the tempter, I resisted him only half-heartedly. Yes, I am often tempted to the same sins. What did I do when they come to me? I am ashamed when I think of my conduct and contrast it with thine. Sometimes, instead of imitating my Lord, I have followed the example of the devil and dared to remain in the presence of God when my soul has been hideous to him through mortal sin. I cannot fly from his presence, but I can cleanse my soul if I will and make it pleasing in his sight by a good confession. Jesus, aid me by thy grace. Interested in almsgiving this Lent, why not help to restore our church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary? 
Help us make this former Presbyterian church worthy of the Catholic liturgy. You can donate at this GoFundMe link. May God bless you for your generosity. Like and subscribe for daily Lenten reflections. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary triumph in Ireland.